Oil and Gas Studies, Hydrostatic Pressure. Hello, good morning everybody. Today our topic is hydrostatic pressure, before that we can discuss about pressure. What is pressure? Pressure is the force or weight acting on the unit area. One pound on one square inch pressure equals one psi. 100 pounds on 100 square inches pressure equals 1 psi. The above examples use solid objects. Fluids, such as water also have weight and will exert a pressure in the same way. The pressure exerted due to the weight of a fluid is called hydrostatic pressure. As you can see from the above, the bucket with one gallon of fluid weighs more than the bucket with a half gallon of fluid. It will therefore exert more pressure. Let's look again at the pressure exerted by drilling mud in a well. Hydrostatic pressure increases as the mud density increases. Hydrostatic pressure will also increase as the depth increases. What is hydrostatic pressure? Definition: The pressure exerted by a column of fluid at rest at a specific depth in that fluid. It depends on the density and the vertical depth of the fluid. Example of hydrostatic pressure. If a submarine dives below the surface, the pressure on the hull will increase. This is because the height and therefore the weight of water above the hull increases, so exerting a greater pressure. The deeper the submarine dives, the higher the pressure on the hull will become. Hydrostatic pressure is the pressure exerted by a fluid which is not moving. The effect of depth Imagine a tall container full of water. If we make a hole in the side of the container, water will come out. If the hole had been made further down the container, water from this hole will be forced out a greater distance. A hole even further down shows the water forced out an even greater distance. You can try this with any plastic water bottle. What forces the water out of the hole is the hydrostatic pressure of the water inside the bottle. As the height of the water above the hole becomes greater, the hydrostatic pressure becomes greater and the water comes out of the bottle with greater force. The hydrostatic pressure exerted by a fluid depends on depth. If we look at the pressure exerted by drilling mud in a well. Although the mud density is always 10 pounds per gallon, the pressure increases as the depth increases. Calculating hydrostatic pressure, as we have just said, hydrostatic pressure depends on depth and density. Let's go back to the example of a submarine. As the submarine dives the pressure on the hull will increase. As the density of the seawater does not change significantly, the increase in pressure will be the same for each foot the submarine dives. In seawater this is approximately 0.5 psi for each foot of water. So if the submarine is 100 feet underwater, the hydrostatic pressure on the hull would be approximately 100 x 0.5 equals 50 psi. What happens when the submarine, remaining at 100 feet underwater, travels along for 5,000 feet? The pressure on the hull will not change. So long as the submarine is 100 feet vertically below the surface, the hydrostatic pressure on the hull is approximately 100 x 0.5 equals 50 psi. It does not matter how far the submarine travels horizontally. Hydrostatic pressure depends on the density of the fluid and the vertical depth. Let's look at pressure in a well again. The pressure exerted by the column of 10 ppg mud is the same in each case, because the vertical depth is the same. That's it. Today lecture is finished here. Thank you all guys. Revise this course when you get free time. Okay bye and see you in next lecture.